We are in a fancy uh, Los Angeles hotel room uh, with a guy who is uh, releasing a new record this week that we are so excited about. It is Jack White. Hello. Congratulations uh, on that, by the way. Thank uh, you. You just played your first couple of shows in, in, in a couple of years. How'd those go? Uh, it felt really nice. It's been a while. It's actually even been longer, I think. I think I played an acoustic show a couple years ago, but I haven't played an electric show in maybe like three or four years almost now. So it's... Uh, yeah, kind of forgot if it was what was going to happen when I got out there. That's uh, kind of the whole point of a Jack White yes. show, though, is you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, and I don't. Actually, yeah. it happens. <laughs> yeah, this uh, record, uh, from the get-go, you described it as uh, bizarre. And I was wondering, mm. after I listened to it uh, a bunch of times, if these were tough songs for you to figure out how to play live. Is this a different process for They you? were, yeah, yeah. They are most complicated I've ever rehearsed in my life they uh have lots of stops and starts triggers drum machines samples uh all two different synthesizer players keyboard players analog instruments digital instruments it's just a mix of lots of different things i've never done before myself so it was very complicated but i think it's getting somewhere good 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 um this record is uh it, it it's just so different from anything else that you have ever done before. What was going through your head as you were making it? What was the mm. thing that you were trying to accomplish? I just wanted the music to tell me what to do. It just uh, to not get in the way of it and and uh, let the music be in control. You know, you're, if you if you if your ego gets too involved and you start telling it what to do, I think that's when I, that's when I personally uh, don't work very well with it. It, it. It's it's when the music is in control and directs us that's that's what that's what i like to see happen but i think that's what's good too because you, you end up having an album with lots of different personalities because you're not pushing them all in the same fu funnel you know what affects you as you're writing these songs what do you i mean are there outside influences is it things happening in the world is it things mm. happening in your personal life what makes its way do you find into these songs more than anything a, a lot of times they're just words that get triggered you know something that pops in your head something someone said in a conversation at breakfast or something and that triggers a sentence and that triggers a paragraph a verse and on and upwards it goes you know you don't i don't know nobody knows where they come from i mean no, no songwriter really can tell you where they're actually coming from you just become some kind of strange antenna i don't know what it is where do you think al capone was coming from you got one of his songs <laughs> on the record yeah that's a strange uh, long story but uh, it's uh, yeah it was i had bought some sheet music that Al Capone had transcribed in, in Alcatraz uh, this song Humoresque, and we recorded it on the album. It's the last song on the album, which is it's wild. Where do you find something like that? I know you, it was at an auction somewhere. Yeah, um, I, I look all over the place. Wherever yeah. I go, wherever I travel, I'm always looking for uh, just you know interesting things. I love history. I love beautiful things. I love to, to preserve things and carry them on and try to do something with them, especially with Third Man Records. It's a nice outlet we, we can have to, to expose things to people and, and turn people on. And, and it's, um, it's interesting to, you know, once in a while, you know, find something like this. Like, this is a great moment where I can, I can you know, purchase this sheet music and then we can make something out of it. And, yep. and a, a new song comes out of it, a new recording comes out of it. Has taken that role that you have with Third Man Records and running that kind of entity, which is wholly unique in 2018, changed the way that you produce your own music or make your own music? It does because the environment is, is always changing. You know, I was in Detroit for the longest time, then I was in Nashville, and then been, you know, different bands, Rack and Tours, White Stripes, Dead Weather, my own things, you know, whatever the names are. And then you have productions that come out of Third Man that I produce, mm -hmm. there's live recordings and 45s and spoken word records and yeah. comedy albums. I mean, on and on it goes. I mean, Third Man, I think we're, all, we're coming up on 600 releases in nine years, so that's a lot of information out there. Speaking of comedy records, dude, you need to not listen to Chris Rock. Don't let Chris Rock get inside your head. And I don't know if you heard this story, but Chris Rock said something about the way Jack White makes his music and the process. We love the process. Don't let that dude get inside your head. Take it easy, he's Chris Rock. He's a good Rock. man. He's got his finger on the pulse. He's, I, I really love his... He's just, he's just always knows what's going on. I, I, I always just feel like if Chris Rock says something, it's, there's something really to be thought about there. He's hypnotic to me. I think you're probably right. Mm. Over and Over and Over is a song that we just uh, added into rotation at mm. Alt 98.7. We made it official. Mm. And uh, Thank you. this is a song that's been gestating for a long, long time. It's been around for a yeah. long time. What uh, gave you the signal that it was finally done? It's strange. I don't know why, why. I don't know why I've ever recorded this song so many times. It does. I, I can't really give you an answer. I've never done that with any other songs, um, like in this way. And I think it was the guitar tone, this buzzy guitar tone, 
we have this pedal at Third Man called the Bumble Buzz mm-hmm. that this union company Union makes that we sell. It's it's a really beautiful like octave fuzz pedal, and I just tried it and it worked. Uh, I don't know. It was the final magical touch for my brain to like. I don't know if other people are gonna like it, but I finally said it's finished. You know, because of that. There's a record or there's a song on the record also whose name I I, I can't even begin to pronounce. Mm. I looked at the root of the word and it is uh, the fear of, of some sort of annoying sound like oh, nails yeah. on a chalkboard what's the name of the song again? Mis- well the, the, the affliction is misophonia, misophonia and, and the, then the song is called hyper misophoniac which yeah like <laughs> I, I, not I, I could not pronounce I knew what I was talking about I just couldn't pronounce it's it not a, it's not a dictionary word it's, it's something I just I morphed it into a, a new word but it's a it's just the idea of there are these people who, who have a hatred of sound and, and certain sounds drive them to tears. Actually, it's a really sad affliction. And I, and I just was kind of obsessed with it. I was reading a lot about it and thought, what if we took annoying sounds with a recording and knowing musical sounds and tried to make something beautiful out of them? You know, so we, well, I don't think we succeeded, but we definitely got the annoying part down. I, I had a follow up question planned for that. Now I feel very, very bad asking for it. Are, are there? Because it sounds like there's kids singing on that. Is that is that, is that what that that's is? That's me. No, that's me singing okay. through a bunch of filters and stuff. Yeah. Okay. But there are kids' toys on that uh, record. We start the song starts off with my son's. Uh, I don't know what the hell they're called, fidget cubes or something like that, a fidget thing when it makes Does all he have these a little noise. Spinner? Is that what yeah, that is? Yeah, but it's like is? a cube. And oh, okay. You can, yeah. So I triple tracked that. To, it sounds like pop rocks going off in your mouth, something like that. Oh. Which I should do. He told me to use glow in the dark pop rocks on stage when the lights are turned off for that song. So I'm going to take his advice. Yeah, how often do you get that advice from the kids on, on, oh, quite on often, the stage? Quite show? often. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so as you move forward and as you start to present these songs live, is there any specific show or uh, performance that you're looking forward to? Any, any place that you want to showcase this music more than others? Oh, um, I, I love the out of, out of the way places, the forgotten places, the small clubs. I, I love anything off the beaten path. You know, um, playing the Mayan in Los Angeles, I love. I playing Kane's Ballroom in Tulsa. Uh, my, uh, the Masonic Temple in Detroit is one of my favorite places to play on earth. I, I love um, anywhere that has just, you know, where you walk in and the vibe before there's any people in there or you've even played a note, like, oh, the vibe in the room is just incredible. That, yeah. that's, there's, there's these certain places that have that, you know. I suppose, I think a lot of people, you know, might be confused about it and they think, you know, they, 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 oh, this place must be haunted, you know. But <laughs> I think it's just it's this positive energy in those places. Thank you for uh, for repping those places. Thank you for flying the flag for rock and roll the way that you do in 2018. Thank you. Um, not a lot of people doing that. Not a lot of people doing it in the way that it should be done. And Jack White has been doing that for now. Should I say decades? Should, is, should is, be. Is, is, is that okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, one last question. Uh, have you ever seen the show Black Mirror? Of course. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, it's like I wrote it. Yeah, I was, I was going to say. <laughs> No one hates cell phones more than the show, uh, than Jack White. Than, uh, no one hates cell phones more than Jack White uh, than the show Black Mirror. No, it's a beautiful, beautiful creation. Uh, whoever is a part of that, all the, all the creators of that, are, they just did something brilliant. It's incredible. Good, 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 good. I'm glad you've seen it. It was going to be my recommendation, but now I recommend nothing. Jack mm-hmm. White, you only recommend things to us. We appreciate it so, so much. Uh, if the, I would have actually wrote it, it wouldn't have been brilliant. <laughs> it would have been annoying. Uh, the new record, Boarding House Reach, uh, again, is out this week. Uh, Jack White's playing... The Mayan tonight, and we'll be back for Arroyo Seco uh, in Pasadena this June. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm